Hey everyone, Brian here again from the Wild Rift team, coming to you from home. I brought two friends with me this time, Oriana and Galahad, who might chime in during this recording because they really love League of Legends. So back in June, you might have seen the Limited Regional Alpha, where a few thousand players helped us ready check our core gameplay, our progression systems, and begin stress testing our infrastructure. Overall, we're really thrilled with how the Alpha went. Players told us they had a lot of fun, that Wild Rift truly feels like League, and we've been continuing to develop the game with player suggestions and feedback in mind. If you took part in the Alpha, thank you. Your time and commitment means the world to us. So next, we want to involve more players. So we're moving into our first regional closed beta. While we're just going to a few regions this time, this one's gonna be larger than our Alpha test with some bonus features and content on the way. You can find more about the regional closed beta by clicking on the link in the description. We thought you'd want to know what we've been up to over the last couple of months. So here's a new round of updates from across the Wild Rift team. Hey everybody, I'm Ed, and I'm a game designer on the Around Game team. On Wild Rift, we know how much competitive experiences mean to League players. And many of you pretty much spend all your time in ranked queues when you play. Our objectives for Wild Rift's rank system are to build a mode that is competitive and fun, feels familiar to PC players, and is easy to get into for newer ones. So today, we're going to talk about how it works. Wild Rift's rank system unlocks at level 10. You will be seated into ranked tiers that will look familiar to League fans and climb your way from Iron to Challenger. Each tier below Master has four divisions. We've added Emerald, a new tier between Platinum and Diamond, so we can distribute players more accurately at this skill level. We adopted two different systems for ranked. For Iron to Emerald ranks, every game you win grants you a ranked mark and every loss removes one. You'll need to earn up to five ranked marks to climb higher up the ladder, with lower tiers requiring fewer marks. Diamond ranks and above switch to a victory point system, which looks a lot like League PC's League Point system, so players can jockey for those key positions on the ranked leaderboards. As you play, you'll fill up ranked fortitude. This system rewards you when you play well and protects you from the occasional loss. Fortitude is earned by a variety of sources, including skilled play. Once it's full, Fortitude is automatically consumed to grant you protection from losing ranked marks when your team takes a loss. While we want this system to feel like a safety net to players who have occasional bad games, we don't want it to feel like a runaway progress. Because of this, we will impose weekly caps to the Fortitude system. You can queue with one, two, three, or five players in ranked, and the matchmaking system will always match up groups with equal power taking into account the group party makeup in order to provide the fairest matches possible. Now, we know that many of you might have questions about this system, and we get it. We want Wild Rift's competitive ecosystem to feel great for those of you that want to show your skills. And you may have had other experiences that don't live up to that goal. The only way we'll know this system is working is to test it at scale, and so far, we've only had a pretty small testing pool. We have a lot of controls on our side to tune and deliver the most fair and fun competitive experience possible. If these systems are unfair and you're not happy, we will make changes. Beyond ranked, we also have big plans for other systems around the game, so I'm going to hand it off to Christina to talk about our plans for progression, monetization, and leveling. Hello, it's Christina again from the Precisation team. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, how do you unlock stuff in Wild Rift? So let's get right into it. For the first few levels, you'll earn starter champions just by leveling up. And as you continue to play, you'll also earn blue motes, which you can use to get other champions. Now, we are serious about making Wild Rift free-to-play friendly, so we're hoping that you'll have enough ways to play the champions you want through early leveling, blue motes, and the free champion rotation. And we want to double down on our commitment to you that paying for content should always be optional. We want Wild Rift to be a top tier League of Legends experience, meaning we won't be offering exclusive key champions, in-game stat boosts, or locking champions behind expensive walls. 
So for those of you who can't spend money, we have new systems like Poro Coins. You can earn coins as you play and use them to unlock cosmetic items like certain emotes and skins. And in terms of monetization, our closed beta also introduces Wild Cores, our version of RP. You'll be able to purchase champions, skins, and lots of other goodies throughout the test. And sometime after the testing phase, we'll be doing a global account reset, so all Wildcore purchases will be returned to you, but with a 20% bonus on top as a thank you. Okay, before I hand it off to Jane, let's just take a quick peek at some of the new content coming to closed beta. And let us know what you think. We're looking forward to it. Hey everyone, I'm Jane Chen and I lead the in-game team. We got a lot of great suggestions from alpha testers, so we've been responding to feedback and data from the alpha. Jonathan and the gameplay team have been hard at work addressing feedback around turrets feeling too weak. We've already made adjustments to turret health and defenses, and we're keeping an eye on Sheen as well as certain split push champions who were a little too effective at demolishing turrets. We've also added more advanced control features for players to fine tune their experience. There's a new semi-lock camera feature in your settings. This adds a button on the screen that lets you adjust the default offset of your camera on the fly. Use this to give yourself a slightly better view of gate entrances or pan it towards your enemy laner so it's easier to set up long-range skill shots. Speaking of long-range skill shots, we've added a lot of new features to make it easier to see where you're aiming. It can be especially difficult when you're aiming below you, the camera now automatically pans to show more on the screen. Hitting global ults was especially difficult in Alpha. So now if you're using the mini map to look at a different part of the map, global ults will aim from the center of your screen instead of your champion, making it a lot easier to aim quickly and precisely. And landing those global ults didn't always feel satisfying. So we've added a pop-up camera to let you savor the moment when you land a cross map as real ult. There's a lot more we want to share, but we thought it'd be a lot easier to show you instead. Welcome to Wild Rift. Minions have spawned. First turret destroyed. Now let's hear from David for an update on Champions. Thanks everyone. Hey friends, Davis Yu here, back again to talk about Champions. First of all, a huge thank you to all the players who participated and gave feedback during the Regional Alpha. Since then, the team has been working hard on addressing that feedback and polishing the Champion roster. For example, we tuned Yasuo's Sweeping Blade to be more consistent, especially around the edge cases. And we made some quality of life improvements for Jin's Curtain Call, so that it is easier to use and be more potent. As you can see, we aren't going crazy with champions this time around, making only minor adjustments. During the alpha, you told us that most champions were in a good spot already, and it was awesome seeing all of your epic League Moment highlights. Now, we do have one more thing to share. Well, actually, it's six more things. Check it out.
We hope they feel amazing to play. Now, we know our work isn't done yet. There is still feedback to address and many more champions in the pipeline. So please look out for more information as we continue our development. Thanks, friends. That's all the new info from us for now. We'll check it again before the beta ends with more information on what's next and when we're testing in more regions. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and for all the support. It means a lot to both me and the team. Thanks, everyone.